everybody, it's Missy from Shimmers again, and today I wanted to show you something really easy that you could do to make your own stamp. And for this, I used a small clear acrylic stamping block and some floss or twine that I've had in my stash for a while, and I used some washi tape. And I just showed you there what it looked like after I created the stamp and I'm going to take it apart and redo it for you and show you how easy this is. So I used a piece of washi tape to stick down the end of the string and then I'm just going to, in no rhyme or reason, start to wind it around. And you can see there, this is some uh, red and white twine I've had in my stash for forever and I haven't used it so I thought I would do it for this. And all you're going to do is wind it around in crooked angles. You know, you can make it perfectly straight. You can crisscross. I'm going to go up and down, sideways, all around. There's no right or wrong way to do this. And it's going to give you a really neat yet messy looking stamped image. So once you run out of string there, I'm just going to use another piece of washi tape to stick it down. And this does not mess up your acrylic block at all. And so now everything's secure and you're just going to treat this like a stamp and the result is really cool this is my bleeding heart it is a red colorings it's just a flat color so i'm going to go ahead and roll this in between my hands and get it ready and spray it onto some plastic and it doesn't take much of the spray to do this so i'm just going to stick it in the spray and then stamp it down on some white cardstock and the good thing about this is you can stamp several times and you're going to have lots of ink left on the string because it's string and it's going to absorb the color, of course. So uh, you get a really cool look. I think that looks super neat. And the more you do it, the more saturated the string gets. If you push a little harder, you're going to get more of the crisscross effect. And you could use less string, you could use more. And if you continue to stamp over and over again, you're going to get this really cool crosshatch zigzag messy look. I think that looks super cool. This would make a really cool design on a layout or a card. You could use this as a background. You could use punches and punch shapes out of it. I thought I would add another color on top of this just to see what it would look like. And this is colorings in Freshly Squeezed, a beautiful orange color. And I'm going to take the same string and do the same thing over this red color. And you know what's cool about this is you can do multiple colors because it dries super fast because you're using just a tiny bit of liquid and so it dries almost instantaneously and so you're not going to get a lot of muddy colors because it's not going to be wet and mixing together. This is really cool. I think this is a really fun and quick and easy way to get your own customized stamp. I've got a couple of still shots coming up. I was very pleased with how this turned out. I can't wait to try this on a project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We would love to see your projects if you use some of our techniques in these videos. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.